Now here's a story for us in chapter 16. Sari still didn't make any sons, so she told Abram, or so we would, they would have us believe, to sex up her slave. Abram took Hagar, the Egyptian, now where did they come from, these Egyptians, as his concubine. And when she got pregnant, Sari was not pleased. Verse 5, the wrong done me is your fault. Well, do with her as you please, Abe told her. So Sari treated her like shit to remind the Egyptian woman that she was a low-life slave. So Hagar ran away, and an angel of the Lord asked, in verse 8, Hagar, slave of Sari, where have you come from, and where are you going? The angel sent Hagar back to be a good slave and accept her lot. The angel told her she'd have a horde of offspring. Ishmael shall be his name. Verse 12. He shall be a wild ass of a man, his hand against everyone, and everyone's hand, hand against him. So Hagar had a son for Abe. Now this is... um. Uh, the story by Margaret Outwood, the one uh, was made into a film, Handmaid's Tale. This is sort of the same idea. The, the wife, I'm guessing because she's only 11 and a half or something, but who knows. She can't have a kid with Abe. Maybe Abe can't get it up. That's also a possibility. But later he does get it up with somebody else and has six kids with his second wife or something. Anyhow... She probably didn't tell Abe to have sex with a slave. It was probably Abe's decision to have sex with a slave. Quite often it's the man's decision to have sex with a slave. And it's not usually the woman that says, go on and have sex with a slave and just ignore me. It usually doesn't happen. But the thing we often see in this book is that things are written backwards to the way they are. And I think if we remember that, we can understand a lot more. It's just a simple, simple backwards code. Everything that's written that says um, things are holy are usually not holy, like the um, kings and priests or whatever they call themselves are always saying, we have divine right to be your dictators, and that is why you should be our slaves. And anybody who doesn't like it, well, they get killed. Uh, okay. So, the Lord... Now we're talking, when we talk, quite often they say the Lord instead of God, but usually they mean the same idea. But on the other hand, another possibility is that when we're talking about lords, we are simply talking about lords, like warlords and landlords. And another problem is there's been at least a couple of people writing Genesis, and you will have two very different fields about the whole thing. One of them, you don't really have much mention of God, and then the other one, other times you have the Almighty God, and it almost goes back and forth, like they had two people write Genesis, they divided up the little fairy tales and put them into one book, and then you get one that sort of contradicts itself over and over again. And anyway, um, Abe's first son, is Ishmael through the slave woman of um, Sari, just so we get that straight. 